just as, a, as an offense, as a team, I, I know you guys still have games to play or a game to play at this point, but I mean, how proud are you of the efforts that this particular team's been able to put together to win the first AFC South title since 2008? Yeah, it's really cool. Um, there's a lot of really great things that this team has accomplished. Um, there's a lot of things to be proud about. Uh, one of those things, and Coach Rayle talked about, is that no matter what, we're just we're going to constantly fight. It doesn't matter what the situation is. You know, guys don't back down from it. Um, but there, it's definitely, like you said, there's there's more football to play. Um, but this it, it's a cool moment right now. Luke, Dennis, you you came in at kind of the tail end of the doom and gloom days for this franchise. How have you seen things grow and change culturally and otherwise since you got here? Yeah, it's really neat. You know, talking to to Taylor Lawan about it. Because uh, he talked about his early, his early years in his career, you know the two and fourteen and three and thirteen years, and and the mentality that has now taken over the building uh, in the locker room, and it's it is really it's it's really I'm really proud to be a part of something like this, um, you know, to kind of get this franchise going in the right direction and, and hopefully continue to sex to sex. Oh, Jesus. Success. Excuse me. <laughs> How much does Vrabel play into all of that? Yeah. I, I mean, I think he does a, a fantastic job of, of getting us ready and, and, and kind of being that example of what we should aim to be as a, as a team. Uh, you know, he, he does a great job connecting with, with all the players. Uh, you know, because he's he's done it all. You know, he's he's been pretty much every single type of role you can find on a football team, uh, and so I think he brings a great perspective to us, and he's able to be. And I think guys appreciate that and respect that. Yeah, Dennis, back to back leading rusher. You're one of eight offensive lines to ever block for a two thousand yard back. I see you starting to smile. What what is that? What does that mean to you? Like, how much of an accomplishment is that for you? Yeah, it, it's, you know, I, I keep saying it's a really cool moment. It's a really cool thing. It, it's, that's something you, when you're older and you're done playing and you're able to talk to, you know, your kids or anything like that, like, that's something you can look back and be like, I did that. You know, we hey, did Dennis. That. What's up, bud? How are you, buddy? I just wanted to pop in here and tell you congratulations. I'm so happy for you. I love you to death. Appreciate no one deserves this more than you, buddy. I'm out of here. Later. Go ahead. What? Where am I at? You were talking about how, how, what it meant to you, and how it's something that you know you could tell your grandkids. Yeah, and, and it's in, you know, Quiz and I talked about in the locker room about how like that that's something we can always meet up on and, and, and celebrate. And you know, there's instantly there's this bond that that we're all in this together. And we all accomplish this together. Uh, so it's definitely so. I mean, it's going to be pretty impossible to forget. And you mentioned earlier just the mindset and the approach that has taken over that building. I, I don't think there's a unit uh, that does it more than the offensive line and, and, and the running back group. So what is it about you guys? How did you develop that mindset? And what is it that really puts, puts that forth on, on game day? Uh, you know, I think it's, it's just the group of guys that we have in there. Um, you know, you said the offensive line, the running back, you know, the tight ends, but like everyone involved has really taken the heart that it takes all 11 uh, to be an effective offense and to run the ball. And, uh, and I think the guys have bought in. The guys like working together. They like talking with each other. There's just a really great chemistry uh, with everyone involved, and I think it, it, it shows on the field. Hey, Dennis. So uh, Taylor popping on was uh, another example of just the, the attrition that you guys have faced on the offensive line again today. I mean, what does it mean to, to know that it was really a team effort, not just the, the guys that started the season, but the ones that ended up finishing it tonight? Yeah, I think it, it just goes to show that, especially in this league, you have to be ready at all times. Um, and I think, speaking for our room, it, guys understand that and guys are able to express that because we have plenty of guys who we have guys that have been starters from day one. We have guys like myself who, who've been backups, who've been healthy scratches, who everything in between to give them hints and give them tips and just different ways of making sure that they're ready and making sure they're prepared if their numbers fall apart. Hey, Dennis. Um, 
when CJ got his 2000, it wasn't a playoff team and it was kind of a team team mission to, to get him there. This is a far more natural occurrence that is pushing you places. Um, can you kind of speak to that difference? Like it, it's not a manufactured thing. It's, it's kind of a root of who you are. Yeah. You know, it's, you know, we talked about it maybe over lunch, over lunch or something during one of our breaks uh, this week about, uh, you know, it's obviously that that's a goal and we're obviously happy to, to accomplish it, but you know, the number one importance is to win the game and to win the division. Uh, you know, and there's, there's a point of just, you know, guys, obviously we, we had an idea of what was going on during the game. Um, but like I said, it was one of those things where it wouldn't, it wouldn't have been as special if we ended up getting it, but ended up losing the game and losing the division and such. So I do think it, it adds to the, to the, the moment to know that it was Derek's success, the offensive success, and as well as, you know, the team as a whole. Dennis, what, what was what was the exuberation like? You won a lot of games, a lot of games coming down the stretch, a couple of overtime games this year as well. But just the exuberance when the ball hits the goalpost and goes in, and maybe there was a moment there where you didn't know if it was good or not. Just kind of went what went through your mind, and how would you describe the celebration? Um, well, I did not see it, so thank you for telling me that it hit the goalpost. Um, I was on the ground making sure no one else tipped the ball or anything like that. So I just. Ended up being on the ground and looking at the ref to see if what their signal was because I heard the text and being like, it's no good, it's no good. Uh, and then as soon as it happened, it was just one of those things where it's like, you're kind of surreal, you know, trying to find someone to, to celebrate with and trying to get off the ground, make sure everyone else is healthy. And so it was uh, kind of chaotic just because I didn't see what happened. And so I was trying to kind of figure it all out at the same time as celebrating. Dennis, I know you've talked already about Derek's accomplishment. Just what about just playing with Derek and Ryan? Like you said, it's a collective effort, but playing with players who play at that level, what, what has that been like this season for all you guys? Uh, it, you know, it, it's, it's great to be a part of. It's great to watch. It's great. You know, it's a, it's a great form of leadership to know that those two are going to go to war with you with every single chance they can. Uh, and, you know, they're going to fight for everything that they can. And so, you know, when you see that, you know, it makes you work a little bit harder. It makes you try to push a little bit more on the play. And, and I think it just kind of, it's, it's a great way of leading by example by both of them. Last question. Yeah, you, you got the Rolexes last year, so we'll, we'll see what you get this year. But uh, more seriously, I always like to get your perspective, like what's going on in the huddle. So as, as you guys are, are working towards that, that 2K for Derek, what what what's the the verbiage like? What are you guys saying to each other? How is that proceeded? To be honest, when we were on the field, we didn't talk about it at all. You know, we were we were concerned about making sure we understood the situation that we were in. You know, what down distance, anything like that, making sure there was any reminders that needed to be put on, depending on their personnel. So, excuse me. As soon as we were on the field, the all the extra stuff kind of went to the wayside, and then when we got closer on the sideline we you know people would ask you know how much more or how close and that but once we're on the field everyone was locked in and, and making sure that they, we were uh, you know being in the best position for the play